This is a Bozo update video to cover the backlash, people getting mad. I didn't get these comments on my channel, but I saw them on multiple other channels of people saying that the coin crashed, why it crashed, that they're in trouble, they're losing money. So this is the Bozo slash Solana chart. And as you see here, the coin went from under one cent to a top of seven cents. That's a little more than seven times. Seven times, not 100%, seven times your money. People who invest in crypto need to know when is the right time to get into an asset, when it's too risky to get it into an asset. If you chase, usually you get burned. And if you don't know what you're doing, you get burned. If you follow the news and you're late to the news, you get burned. In crypto, it's explosive. It's worse than the stock market. The stock market looks like a grandma, grandpa, very slow. Usually there's not a big jump in prices. There's not huge corrections. In crypto, it's exponential. You get 30, 40, 50, 80% corrections in the blink of an eye. So if you don't know what you're doing, you get burned. So for all the people who started who are starting to trade, please be aware of that. You need to know when to get in and also when it's too late to get in. Was it a good idea to buy the coin 5x from the breakout? No. 6x? No. 7? Worse. After 2x is already too late, in my opinion. You're, you're already playing with fire. So before you complain, you need to know your stuff. You need to have a little bit of data. How does it work in crypto? If you haven't traded in crypto or invested in crypto, do some simulations. Try it with many assets. What's going to happen? What's going to happen? How I'm going to react? You can do simulations. It's good to do simulations, but the only issue with simulations is that you're not putting your own money. So all the uh, emotions are not the same in a simulation from when you put money into the asset. So put money into the asset, but a little amount, just a little amount. Just start getting some experience and see how you feel. When it goes up and when it corrects, it's bound to happen. It's not going to go on a straight line. So Bozo is a very early coin. It's just started. It's part of the Solana blockchain, has a lot of potential but like I said nothing goes up in a straight line at one point things correct if you buy late you need to be aware that you may be near the top and you could be in trouble and pay and overpay for your coin that's one thing the second thing is that you can buy on the way up at 5x 6x 7x if you want it's up to you if you want to keep this coin for a year, two years. Maybe that won't make a difference. But there's a little bit of risk there because you're not buying near the breakout. You're not buying after a correction, consolidation on support. And then if it breaks above that, then you have another entry, a much safer entry. You need to be aware of this. So that's the first thing. If you want to risk it and it goes bad on you and it turns especially now in the beginning of the bull run you have to hold the coins you cannot sell the coins because what's going to happen is that the coin will correct and you're going to sell probably near the bottom nobody knows where the bottom will be but you're probably going to sell near the bottom and then the coin will explode upwards again and then you will say to yourself oh my god but you need to be patient. You cannot invest in all the assets. You cannot be near the breakout on all the assets unless you have a very good system, a very good platform that can give you those alerts ahead of time or at the exact time that it happens. If you don't have that type of system, you will miss some. And when you miss them, usually you just let it go and you wait for a pullback. You have to. So for those who bought that 5x, 6x, 7x, you didn't know what you were doing. So then it's on you that uh, people who bought that near 1x or 2x took profits. It's normal after that type of run that the coin drops. Here, this coin went from 7 cents to almost back to 1 cent. So that's 
probably near 90% or 95% correction. 95% correction. So you almost got the price near the breakout initially. Just by being patient, you would have gotten that price. But no, you got impatient and you chased and you got burned. That's only the people who went for spot. People who went leverage, then they wrecked. They, their position is closed and they sold their coins and they lost all, your, all their money. Not good, not good. Educate yourself, avoid these traps. Is the Bozo coin a scam? No, well, not that I know of. It's a very legit project with the information that I have, not financial advice, but it's a very early coin. Do I expect 70% corrections, 50% corrections, 90% corrections? It can happen. Will I tolerate them? Yes. Why? Because I'm not trading for one day or two days or three days or four days. I don't do that type of trade. I trade for six months, one year, year and a half, two years. And I trade the tendency. So if it's an uptrend, good. When it turns, when it breaks that tendency, I need to decide. Do I sell a part of it or I sell, sell the whole position? It's up to me to decide. So I have a rule that you have to first educate yourself to select breakout levels for the assets that you follow. You will not catch everything. And the ones that you miss, you let them go. And then you take profits when the trend breaks. And if you're starting, you do not invest the whole thing, your whole position. You do not invest your whole position right away. You split it up multiple times because you need to average down in case something like this happens. So the potential of the coin, did it change in four days, five days? Did it change? Not. Is it volatile? Yes. Will it stay volatile? Yes. Can it go to seven cents tomorrow? Yes. Can it go back to three cents after this? Yes. Are you aware of that? Yes. Will you trade it accordingly? Yes. That's what you need to do. And if it's too volatile, you don't trade it. Yeah, it's too much for me. It doesn't work for me. This is the type of asset that doesn't work for me. You have to do your analysis of each of these coins and see if you're comfortable with them. If not, move to the next one. There's thousands of them. There's a few that are very special, but if you want volatility, you can choose left and right. So be careful. If you don't know what to do, educate yourself protect yourself, and avoid losing money by having a plan. You have no choice. People who complain usually did not do the right move. I hope you got some value out of the video. Be careful, everybody. Be aware of what you're doing and pick your spot. It's a marathon. You don't need to be in a rush. Be patient.